So ultimately this project was brought to our office as a complaint uh, about 2015. So this culvert had collapsed as a result of Hurricane Irene and it was causing a problem upstream for landowners. My name is Steve Swenson and I'm a biologist with the Bureau of Ecosystem Health and I've been with the department 14 years. I work for Region 4. So this is a trout stream and so the warmer the water gets uh, it's not so good for trout. You get upwards of 70 degrees and trout are not going to be happy. So um, we've been monitoring the stream for three years now. Uh, we just put thermographs in today. Uh, we've basically, they're, they're temperature loggers and we have them downstream of the site and upstream of the site. And what we were seeing before this was removed is we actually saw a spike in temperature. So the water would build up behind this culvert the sun would heat it up and it would get it would be discharged and it would be warmer. Ultimately, a group of people were pulled together, including the town, which is a partner. Trout Unlimited is the project sponsor and the project manager, and then DEC, who were also a project partner. And so we met up here and basically decided we're going to try to tackle this, and we applied for uh, money. And several years later, we have uh, the culvert that had been collapsed has been removed, and uh, we have connectivity um, for the stream again. I'm Vince the Boyce. I am vice president of the Columbia Green chapter of Trout Unlimited and I also am regional four VP to the New York State Council. We have uh, worked with DEC to find out what was in here and the studies that DEC has done and it came up with the wild brook trout and wild brown trout. With doing this project it has another basically three miles upstream and uh, be, it's more spawning habitat for the brookies and browns, uh, whatever's in here. So one way we're trying to improve connectivity, specifically aquatic connectivity, um, is through a grant program called the Water Quality Improvement Program, or WQIP. Um, and we have two categories within WQIP. One is aquatic connectivity restoration. Um, the other is a subcategory called culvert repair and replacement. And through those, we're able to direct funding towards local municipalities or organizations like Trout Unlimited so that we can do these projects to improve aquatic connectivity and, and flood resiliency and things like that. My name is Maria Lull. I'm the Town of Chatham Supervisor. The town has a liability and a responsibility to uphold its end as far as rectifying problems. I'm speaking for the town of Chatham, but I think most towns and most town supervisors really ought to be cognizant of the fact that we have agencies within the state and also Trout Unlimited, which is a national organization, that are interested in preserving the environment and helping the towns out.